OK, shall we talk weather? Because uh, Alexis will have a forecast in just a moment. But it's, uh, let's face it, it's the weekend weather that's been making the headlines because residents on Hailing Island in Hampshire have been assessing the damage after a freak tornado struck there yesterday morning, affecting around about 100 homes and a beachfront boatyard. This was the moment the tornado struck the Mengham Ride Yacht Club. It caused an estimated £100,000 worth of damage as it swept through the yard, leaving a trail of devastation. This footage shows how the boats were thrown around and left badly damaged with masts snapped off. Really was dreadful, wasn't it? Although the storm also uprooted trees, knocked over walls and tore tiles from roofs, mercifully no one was injured. But today a big clear-up was underway and Sean Killick was there. The clear-up and patch-up was continuing today on Hailing Island. Around 100 properties are believed to have been damaged. Local roofer Paul Croft has already worked on repairing many of them. Today about five, um, yesterday about six. Um, we've got another about three or four calls to go to, so it's, just, it's quite busy. How badly damaged are they? Um, well, most of them, it's most tiles which are flying off and then hit cars or next doors, sort of windows and so on. So. It's, um, it's, it's caused quite big damage, mainly on this road and then Blackthorn Drive at the end here. So it's fairly localised, the two Yeah, yeah, road. mainly. This was the scene here yesterday. As well as damaged roofs, several trees were blown down, causing damage to houses and cars. It was just after 7am when the tornado struck. We just heard and felt um, this really strong howling wind that just came through. My husband described it as like just a, like a ball of wind that came through the house. Um, the house shook, felt like there was maybe an earthquake, that's what, we, that's what it felt like. And it felt like the roof was going to come through the, through the house, just the windows rattled and the roof rattled and then it was just gone in a blast. Well, the seafront here bore the brunt as the tornado hit the land. This beach hut had its roof blown off. This one here lost most of the felt on its roof. And over here, this one was blown off its base by the sheer force of the wind. The high winds also brought down trees elsewhere in the south, including in this garden at Pulborough in West Sussex. And at Finchhampstead near Wokingham, lightning struck a house, causing serious damage. We heard this almighty bang, which sounded just like a bomb. Um, and it took a few seconds to sink in. What was it? We came out the front and we looked out the, uh, across the road to see that there was a, a massive hole in the roof of the property opposite. High winds continue to buffet parts of the south today. Next, the threat of heavy rain. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Hailing Island. It's quite frightening, actually, when something like that happens. It, was, yeah. it really is. I mean, is it a tornado? That's the big question. Well, I've spoken to the Met Office and they have been looking at their radar loops, which is effectively the rainfall which occurred during that time between 7 and 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, they can confirm that there was storm rotation, what you'd see with a twister, really, so sort of, a yeah. circulating tornado, yes. And with the defined damage track that the, the storm took and the eyewitness reports, all evidence points to it being a tornado, but they can't confirm it. OK, so we can have a look. Now, this is, this is what? This is the tracking, is This is, is between it? 6 and 8 o'clock in the morning. You can see the storm moving over Hailing Island, that really intense burst of rain with the greens and the yellows there. And it moves off and tracks its way northwards. And we do know that we've had three lightning strikes in Finch Hampstead in Berkshire as well from that storm.